Hey guys, welcome to my first Minecraft tutorial, and I'm going to be covering, in this episode, the very first day in Minecraft. So, um, we're 20 minutes in the day, I got 10 minutes a day, 7 minutes of night, and a minute of, and a half of dawn, and a minute and a half of dusk. So, 20 minutes, 3 days, that's about 60 minutes. Uh, I'm probably going to be 3 days plus for what I'm going to be doing in the last bit. Now this is just the first part of the series and it, I might all add on it at my leisure, but I'm going to take care of just giving you set up so you can survive in Minecraft. So this is day one. We need to get get materials, craft some tools, and make a well built sh or well lit shelter so that we can weather the night because bad guys can spawn in dark places in the world. It's very, very dark at night. So, I've spawned in my world. Uh, this isn't quite where I spawned. Uh, There's somewhere around here. I think this looks like a flat area to me. So, um, around here, what I'm going to do is left-click to punch. I'm just gonna, um, I don't know. Really quickly just mark this area off. Just sort of like a little arrow to where I spawn so I know where my spawn point was because that's where I pop up if I die. So I'm going to go down now to this tree and I'm going to left click the punch. I'm going to punch the wood and break it because wood is their very very first resource that we use just keep on punching um and two should be good enough for the moment i'm going to press e to open my inventory left click to place the wood here shift click to take all of it and turn the wood to planks and the right click to drop one wooden plank on all four sides to make a crafting table. Then I'm going to right click to slap that down. Then I'm going to make wooden sticks. And I need more wood. I'm going to pick up that sapling. Because that will allow me to plant more trees. One more wood. There you go. Uh, Four wooden, oh, I had two wooden blanks. Oh, wait, no, I need three for what I'm going to be doing. Right click, right click. Take three so I can get a wooden axe. Then I'm going to make a wooden pickaxe. This will allow me to cut trees faster, and the wooden pickaxe will allow me to mine. Uh, you'll have different biomes that you spawn in. Saw some coal back there. I am going to get plenty of wood first. Ooh, and we got an apple, which will be uh, very handy because I need food to survive. If you look at the right of my hearts, then you'll you'll see some drumsticks. That that is your health. So if you uh, if once it drops to eighty percent or lower, you no longer regenerate health. So keep your hunger away. Keep yourself at full drumsticks as much as possible. If you run out, you will continue to lose health down to half heart and survival, which is the uh, normal gameplay. It's what we're playing right now. Uh, if you're in hardcore, then I think it kills you. And hardcore is a different mode few select differences, but I will be covering survival. So basically we gather materials, then we use them to craft, and we build things with them. If we die, we lose everything we're carrying. And you have five minutes to retrieve it if it doesn't if it didn't already get destroyed. And if you don't get it by then then the uh, game gets rid of it. Now, uh, one thing that's kind of cool about this game is if it shuts down, your items are still there when you log back in. So, let's just say I die, I get frustrated, and I decide to 
play a later date, I go into the game and I can still fetch my items once I've uh, cooled down. I'm just going to collect a little more wood and I'm going to start mining. And bad guys, what is it? Okay, I got five minutes. Bad guys spawn at night in dark places and they try to destroy you. So we need a well built shelter to weather the night. And then uh, we can spend that night making tools for the next day. And then what we can do during the next day. Ooh, is that we can um, we can uh, expand upon our shelter, making it better, grab some more resources, maybe do some exploration, and then ultimately I want to get a farm going. I want to breed animals, and I also need to make wheat to lure them, so that I can breed them, lure them into an area fenced off area and breed them for food so I can eat and survive and that's about all you need just for survival. Alright, I got one seed that's good enough. Alright, and I have plenty of coal that I spotted and plenty of stone too. Now when you mine stone it becomes cobblestone. So uh, if you want stone stone then you throw it in a furnace and cook it and it becomes stone. Or when you when we get into enchanting, um, you can if you get lucky you can get uh, I forget the name of the enchantment, but it makes an object drop what the object really is. So stone would drop stone, not cobblestone. There's a difference. Um, stone cobblestone looks uglier and it's what we're going to use for our stone pickaxe. So I'm actually going to uh, you'll notice I just ran forward out of control. Um, Notch decided to code this in Java, which isn't the greatest on Linux, and isn't great in general. And yeah, so it can be a bit buggy. There's a fix for it, I think, but I haven't done that yet. So just either pause the game or press E to open your inventory uh, to fix it. And hopefully it doesn't get you killed. Uh, the, I've had it where the game pauses on me, it, uh, or my guy will punch two blocks if I'm in creative mode, or he'll set down two blocks and then it pauses, or maybe my mouse isn't getting captured. All sorts of annoying stuff. Uh, but there is a way to fix it, I think. So uh, you can just Google that and try to fix it. Hopefully um, you can fix it because it's really annoying and it's gotten me killed before. So I'll, I'll explain what I've just done. I created a stone pickaxe which is more durable than a wooden pickaxe. Now with the wooden pickaxe I was able to get cobblestone, I was able to mine coal. Uh, I think, I'm not sure if there are any that require a stone pickaxe over a wooden pickaxe, but a lot of materials that I've found the lower lo levels of the game, they will require an iron pickaxe. Now, I can punch this coal with my fists, and it'll take forever and 12 days to bust, but it will yield nothing, and I will obtain nothing from it. So use the right tool with the right quality for the job, and that won't happen to you. And you'll know, that, you'll know uh, because it will take forever and 12 days to break it. And that's basically your cue to get the right tool or right quality of tool for the job. And uh, if you are unsure about anything, you can head over to the Minecraft wiki. And it will tell you a lot about Minecraft. It will tell you about items, how to craft them. The sun is sinking, so this will do for a great hiding hole. And I will make a door. I got some food on me. Clear enough of trouble. Right 
to waste them. Try and build this as quickly as possible here. We have enough cobblestone. And I'm going to basically create a roof. And we've got a minute and a half left. And we don't have a sword either. Oh no. I'm going to use wood because I have nothing else. Alright. Not great, but we can see the sun. Alright, we'll make improvements later. Oh, shoot, and we need to quickly make some torches. Crafting table, put some sticks, put some coal, shift click to grab those torches, shift click to grab the coal, right click to slap a torch, slap a torch here. Now it's well lit, and we are safe inside for the time being. Alright, um, if I haven't mentioned already, right click your crafting table. Uh, now, uh, we need coal for torches. We can also use charcoal, which you can make by burning wood, um, which I have plenty of, but I need cobblestone to make a furnace. I need cobblestone for mining, too. Okay. I'm just going to mine, 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 mine. An apple will give me two drumsticks. This is actually a good map I spawned on. I got everything I need right off the bat. And I'm just going to mine, 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 and get some cobblestone. And it's a bit slow starting off because you have to get yourself established, but once you get items, uh, you can craft a map, a compass, a clock, uh, good weapons, good armor. Then it picks up a bit. When you get good armor, then you don't die as easily. Um, I, I remember getting all the way up to diamond armor, getting an enchanted with protection enchantments, getting a diamond sword with damage enchants, and you're a juggernaut that uh, a zombie can come up and psh, 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 uh, and I look at him like, you kidding me, that's all you got? And just slap them away and they're gone. You can make a chest and store items in here. Don't need all that coal. Um, and craft a furnace. But this game can be very fun and addictive. A furnace. Got a wooden plank. I get about one item burned per plank. Coal can do about eight. And that will make charcoal. And I can make torches with that. And press shelter roll it. So if I keep mining down here, uh, I could come across iron, and iron can be used to craft good weapons, good tools, good armor. Um, if you get really lucky, you can find diamond at the, it's typically at the bottom near bedrock, which is near the very bottom where you can mine, and it is the best quality, uh, it crafts the best quality of tools in the game, and it's required, you need diamond pickaxe to mine obsidian, so that's about the toughest block to mine in the game, and it can make fantastic armor, fantastic weapons, but it's rare, It's it, and when you do find it, you don't get much, so I'm going to make some planks, I'm going to make some sticks, and I'm going to make another pickaxe. I am going to make, uh, what am I 
doing? I need to do that. You all can't hear that, but I can hear a bad guy near our shelter right now. And I will take time to explain these bad guys. There are different types of baddies. So at night, or dark place the bad guys can spawn. Make a shovel. And they uh they usually burn up. Two of them will they're about four common um, you'll encounter. Zombies and skeletons. Zombies are zombies. Um yeah, not much to it. They walk towards you with their arms outstretched and they try to eat you. Then uh, you have skeletons, which are archers. They shoot at you. They have bows and arrows, and they shoot at you. And they burn up in daylight. If the sun shines on them, they burn up. Then you have spiders. Now, spiders, if it's daytime and they're already aggressive, like they're not trying to kill you, then they will remain passive during the daytime. If they're already attacking you, they will remain aggressive. But during the daytime, they won't bother you if you don't bother them. Is there anything I want to make? Yes, more torches. There's a charcoal, and I can make four torches. Uh, then you have creepers, which are gigantic, well not gigantic, but they're kamikaze. They will walk towards you, and they blow up. They're walking TNT, essentially, and they will constantly try to blow you up. They do not die in the sun, and they do not become passive in the sun either. I need to make any pickups. So, uh, beware of those guys. They, and as I said, they blow up. They wipe out just about everything in the nearby area. So, they can wipe out hard work. Let's say I built a, a really cool house. Let's say I built a really cool house, and one of those guys comes along, he could blow it up. Or part of it. Oh no. Another glitch. If I click, it goes here, and then it goes here. So I'm going to restart, and I will be back. Alright, and I'm back. Oh, dear, and I was just suffocated. Phew. Ooh. <laughs> Alright. Did I craft my new pickaxe? Yes. And I will show you how to repair items. Yes. Make a stone axe. Um... There are also cave spiders, which are uncommon. Um, well, they're not found in the overworld normally. If you go to an abandoned mine shaft, then you can find them there. Oh, I already made the stone. Then you can find them there, and they are nasty little buggers. They will. They have venom on them, and you take damage from the venom, in addition to their attack. And if you're poisoned for six seconds, you are. And if at any time during the six seconds you are hit again by the venom, then it resets the timer. Now, uh, for the monster's movement, ooh, I hear a spider. Spiders need, well, I'll start with zombies. They're like a normal person, zombies, skeletons, creepers. We, normal people need two blocks vertical to move. So I need two blocks here to move and I can move through. Spiders need two horizontal blocks, but only one vertical block. So, a zombie or skeleton can move in and out of here, but a spider could not, however. Let's just say I plug that up, and I do it. Um, a spider could move through here, but I cannot, a creeper cannot, a skeleton cannot. Now, this nasty uh, cave spiders only need uh, one space, so they can fit through one space. But they're only found in abandoned mine shaft where there's lots of uh, possible 
treasure that you get. Uh, they're very, a lot of the monsters are very noisy, and it's daytime, and they will emit lots of noise so you know they're nearby. They're not very covert. Here, something. I, by the way, I need to craft a stone sword. Two sticks, no. One, one stick, so one stick. Two sword, or two cobblestone to make a sword. And I'm going to fight any bad guys that have me. Creeper! Oh, dang it. <laughs> and there goes my wood. Alright. Daylight's burning in the second day, so I'm going to try and wrap this up. I'm just going to seal this up properly with my pickaxe, with my cobblestone, this fire, and we'll eventually get a better shelter, I guess. We just need to get, we just need to get sheltered somewhere during the night. Now, Wait, yes. Oops, no. And that is our mineshaft entrance, which is doubling over as a shelter at the moment. Oops. So I'm going to go in here and end it here. I hope you enjoyed this episode of next soup and I will have more Minecraft for you in the future so stay tuned for that.